you saw in the intro clip was yesterday's huge snowstorm that started actually the night before, went overnight, and probably laid out about a foot and a half to two feet of snow into the valley and in the mountains. So I thought what better time than to record the topic of this video, which I've been wanting to do for a while, but we haven't had a real snowstorm up until yesterday in January. Uh, we usually start sometime in December, but nonetheless, I wanted to make this video titled, How is the all-wheel drive or 4 system on the C300? I think it's an important question because some of you purchased the C300 only because it has the all-wheel drive formatic system because the C350 does not come with that. So I think it's important to address the question of, you know, how good is the all-wheel drive formatic system on the C300 and kind of just in general Mercedes. To give you some background on the formatic system, it was actually introduced back in 1985. Um, it was introduced for the soon-to-be E-Class of that era, that generation. Um, I think it was released in 97 or 98 officially on the uh, next-gen E-Class at the time. And uh, well, the formatic system, the formatic name was coined as the uh, you know all-wheel drive system for the Mercedes E-Class. Now, of course, the all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive system was around on the G-Wagon and even earlier than that, but this was the first time that, you know, a formatic system that would change the amount of torque at specific wheels was introduced, especially on a sedan, you know, it was the E-Class at the time. Now, it has gone through a series of enhancements year over year. Um, the, the latest one being the biggest one was in 2008, where it shed 200 pounds and integrated new technology. And so the formatic system that we have today um, is kind of an evolution amongst a decades of work in the all-wheel drive seg segment. And I think that it has come a long way from where it used to be. Um, we used to own, uh, as a family, an old uh, Mercedes ML, which had the previous gen formatic system, and it was definitely not as good as the car that I have today. So, uh, formatic has come a long way from the days of old. And to give you some understanding of how it works, it uses four individual sensors located at each wheel, and it varies the torque uh, through the differential, and it can send up to 100% of the power to either the front or the rear wheels, depending on what your car has. So. Uh, the C-Class and the E-Class, the S-Class, they're all a rear biased all-wheel drive system in the formatic, which means that about 55% of the power is sent to the back at all times and 45% is sent to the front. Now some versions of the formatic system are actually front wheel biased. So the CLA, uh, because it's on the MBA platform, if I'm not mistaken of the name, um, that one is a front wheel drive bias system that will send power to the back wheels up to 100% again. if there is a sign of slippage and the rear wheels can take care of that. So depending on which Mercedes model you have, you either have a front or rear wheel biased system. Um, regardless, I just wanted to give you a personal opinion on how the formatic system has worked for me. So out of all of the cars that we have had in my family, ranging from trucks to four wheel drive vehicles, um, to other all-wheel drive vehicles. The system on this C-Class is the best all-wheel drive system I have had to date. Um, this car has beaten Jeeps, has beaten trucks, and a host of other vehicles that we have had, that we have used in the snow. This car is hands down the best all-wheel drive system I have ever had. I have only gotten stuck in this car once in my entire life of the five years that I've owned it, the five different winters that I've gone through. I only got stuck once and that wasn't because the all-wheel drive system isn't good on this car, it was simply because of clearance. So the way I exited a parking uh, structure, uh, they had a huge bump so I exited and unfortunately I was seesawed on the snow and I wasn't able to get any traction on the wheels in order to push out of it. So that wasn't because the car's all-wheel drive system wasn't working and I was slipping, it was because the clearance of the car was too low and I was kind of plateaued on top of snow and I wasn't getting any traction. So aside from that one time, I have never gotten stuck in snow. I have never slid down my driveway, which is actually pretty steep. So driving up that driveway is relatively difficult no matter what kind of car you have. And I have never actually not been able to get up on my driveway and get into my garage. Um, in every single aspect that I compare this car to other cars in my family or my friends, this car is hands down the best all-wheel drive system. Now aside from that, I do understand that tires are a very important aspect of how well you drive in the snow. If you have a car with sport wheels, no matter how good your all-wheel drive system works, 
it's not gonna work well in the snow. And that is exactly the reason why I switched the sport wheels that I had, the bronze ones, for these you know, stock OEM ones is because the wheels on these are continental all season tires and they work amazingly well in the snow. They're all season, they're not even snow tires, they're all season tires that I have on this car and it works phenomenally well in the snow. Um, so of course tires do have something to do with how well your car does in adverse conditions. But I did want to also let you know that the all-wheel drive and the 4MATIC system on the Mercedes is an amazing system. And uh, if you are buying this car strictly because you need an all-wheel drive car and you're you know, worried that maybe it won't be very good and it's better to get an SUV, I will tell you from first-hand experience that it is a great all-wheel drive system and there's nothing you need to worry about. The only time you might need to worry is if you need a lot of clearance and that's only when you know, you're going to get plateaued that you're going to experience that problem. Other than that, I've gone through feet of snow and never had any issue. It's only when I got seesawed that it was just a problem of me being kind of floating in the air without the wheels gaining any traction. So I just want to make this quick video to let you guys know about the 4MATIC system on the C-Class. Now I can't speak for all Mercedes because um, depending on what platform you ride on, you're going to have a different 4MATIC system. For example, the G-Wagon and the other SUVs in the Mercedes lineup have a different type of 4MATIC system. You know, the CLA has a different type of 4MATIC and then the remaining sedans have a different one. So it's hard to say that, you know, one 4MATIC is better than the other or if this one is good, it's going to transfer over to the other one's being good. But overall, I can tell you that just in my experience of the C-Class and the W204, the 4MATIC system in this car is amazing. So um, if you have any other questions about how it handles in the snow, how good this car is, please feel free to comment below because I've had this for five winters, like I've said earlier, and I have never had any issues with it. Um, I've really just been amazed at how great this car is. Like I said, it's better than any SUV I've had, better than my previous cars, other cars in my family. So I'll be happy to address any questions you might have. Um, if you're curious about the 4MATIC system, there's plenty of websites that describe information in detail. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to find me on Instagram. It's at Shwayze underscore, same as my YouTube channel name. I post cool pictures of cars and stuff I'm working on. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will catch you all at the next video. Have an amazing day.